Okay, hi everyone, this is a new video. Um, last night's episode of Four Corners talked about um, the 5G on the North Coast and how a lot of people up here on the North Coast are worried about 5G and about radiation and stuff like that. Uh, there's even a big protest up in Mullum about it and the Boron Council that controls that area, um, I think, well, you know, the acting mayor, uh, Michael Lyon, was talking about, um, you know, that they sort of are putting a ban on in the upgrades at the moment, sort of, throughout the North Coast. Um, it's not going to happen in Ballinashire, I don't think. Um, but they are going to upgrade it, I think, as well, and others on the North Coast. Now, David Icke talked about how bad it is because the radiation levels from this is pretty bad, apparently. And, you know... There's a lot of people worried about what's going to happen with all this um, stuff with 5G and the causes of it and the acceleration of it and what it could do to the body and other things like that, mutations and stuff like that. Um, people have always been worried about radiation since radios existed. So, you know, there used to be the thing, you know, People were scared of radiation from just your, your normal radios, um, your normal wireless back in the 1920s and before then, um, when the wireless was invented. And even when televisions came out in the early 50s, people were worried about that as well. Um, you know, they had television back in the early 40s, for only those who could, you know, afford it, really rich people um, back in those days. But not here in Australia. It took us a lot, a lot longer to get uh, television broadcasts. Uh, late fifties, I think it was. And we didn't get colour until mid seventies, I think. So we were a lot, you know, uh, longer behind than the United States. We already had colour in the late sixties, um, nineteen sixty-nine, I think. The first colour television was um, came out. You know, um, before then it was all black and white. Same with. Great Britain and all those places. Um, so, this is the fifth generation of telecommunication. So, apparently, the speed's supposed to be a lot quicker than um, what it's supposed to be, and it will help a lot of devices um, as we progress in the future of, um, you know, driverless automatic cars and stuff like that. Um, and other devices, also, Wi Fi speeds will be a lot quicker as well. But um, we're still on 4G at the moment, so once we move to devices that can handle 5G, it will be ready for it. But, you know, my latest phone doesn't support 5G yet. But they are starting to upgrade, you know, now in 2020, and they have been in the last few years upgrading certain services and certain towers around the country. But what's the harm? I mean, what's the science behind it? Dr. Carl says it is. Kuzaninsky um, says that there's no harm in it really as much harm as normal radiation towers or uh, radio towers and so your phone towers um, so I don't see why there's such a harm in the towers and why there's so much protest about it we're progressing in the future a lot quicker and we need this sort of communication towers uh, readily access just like the MBN and all that sort of stuff even though the Liberal government stuffed that up um, we could telecommunication instead of fibre to the node and all that sort of stuff the Labour Party and the Greens supported a different scheme to that but we never got that at all so we got you know places out bush that don't have great support in telecommunication at all and they're really missing out 